Right guys, this voice video is going to be looking at the recapping at the beginning of the ADI part 3 test. Yeah, so that's what we're going to be focusing on today. So what you want to do is you want to keep it simple. Remember that the time has changed. So before it used to be one hour, we used to have 10 minutes at the beginning, up to 10 minutes, and up to 10 minutes at the end for the summary. We don't have that anymore. Most examiners want you to be moving. They want to keep you moving. So therefore, estimate about two minutes at the beginning and two minutes at the end, three minutes maximum. So we're going to be keeping it simple. Okay, let's say we've got an ex we've got a pupil. That pupil have done eight hours, but they're struggling a little bit on the MSPSL. Let's say, for example, the mirror check is not always there. In some cases they check, in some cases they don't, in other cases they give the signal first and then check the mirrors. Let's say that's the underlying issues. That's the, 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 the lesson goal. So we're going to be developing that. So you would have discussed that with the pupil beforehand. You would have set the plan out, including risk management, responsibility sharing. You would have always, you would have all covered that already. Okay, so what you then do is you then go into the examiner. The examiner will then ask you, um, have you obviously introduced himself to you, all those type of things. He'll then, he or she, for, the matter, for that matter, will then ask you a question. He'll then say, okay, right, tell me a little bit about your pupil that you brought with you today and what the plan is. So you then reply, okay, so I've got a pupil here. My pupil's done about eight hours. And um, we're going to be revisiting junctions today, focusing on emerging left, turning left, emerging right, turning right, uh, and just develop the, the, the mirror check. Because sometimes, just like we said at the, the beginning, sometimes they check the mirror, sometimes they don't, sometimes they give the, the mirror check after the signal. So what you've done there, you now you've shown the examiner what the plan is and what the development need of the pupil is. Remember... This can change during the drive, but that's a complete different topic that will be covered at a later session. Okay, so you've gone back into the car now. So what we're going to do, we're going to go in roll now. Okay, here we go. We're in roll. Okay, right. Um, Mr. Examiner, this is pupil one. Pupil one, this is Mr. Examiner. Okay, pupil one. So talk earlier about the examiner's role today. You remember? Yeah, 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 I remember, I remember. Okay, so now that the examiner is actually sitting in the car itself, how are you feeling? Everything feels the same or what, what, what's going to your mind at this moment? No, 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 I'm fine, I'm, conf I'm, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Okay, brilliant. That's fine, that's no problem. Okay, so we already parked up and we've gone over the plan for today. Is there any part of that plan you would like us to revisit? Or are you okay? Do you understand everything that we said we're going to be doing? I understand. I understand. Okay, brilliant. We are going to drive off shortly. I'd like you to follow the road ahead at all times, unless road markings indicate otherwise. If I'd like you to turn left or right, I'll give you plenty of notice in which to do so. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. That's fine. Brilliant, brilliant. In terms of questioning as well, have you got any question for me before? No, 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 no question. So no. no question before we drive off. Brilliant. Okay. Is it okay if I ask a question from time to time as we're moving as well? Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, brilliant. So when you're ready, I'd like you to drive on, please. In that way, you're keeping it simple. You're getting straight to the point and you're getting the pupil moving as soon as possible because that's what the examiner is interested in. Mind you, if whilst driving, you realize that they're not understanding something. Say, for example, they are not understanding the risk management and the responsibility sharing. Say they're going too close to the park car every minute and you have to intervene, intervene. Then you do need to recap the risk management and find out if they are still okay to deal with that level of risk themselves or do they need you to come in and support them because you agreed that they will be responsible for it but they're not carrying that out so you do need to come in and deal with that if that is indeed the case.